Hello there. Welcome to Nerd World. Today we're talking about gargoyles. And if you've never seen gargoyles, it's it's a mid '90s cartoon series, actually made by Disney. And the reason it stands out to me as a huge Star Trek fan, and if you are a massive Star Trek fan, which I can only assume as you're watching my channel, you might be, because a lot of my stuff on my channel is Star Trek. This series pretty much has the entire cast of Star Trek The Next Generation as well as a few um, like there's, I think Robert Beltran's in it you got uh, Kate Mulgrew although that was before she played Captain Janeway basically you got everyone except Patrick Stewart pretty much from The Next Generation in this thing doing one of the voices and to much delight both basically Deanna Troy and Commander Riker are the bad guys and it's just fantastic to watch. It's a lot of fun. If you've never seen the cartoon, basically the basic theme is you got these gargoyles, these dudes here breaking out of the stone right now, who are effectively a thousand year old cursed or have a spell put on them more accurately that freezes them in stone so that they remain frozen in stone for a thousand years until Xanatos, the sort of main villain, comes along and decides to wake them up to experiment on them use them for his own nefarious means and it's their adjustment to the 20th century and how the world has changed because they're not actually immortal beings they're just beings that happen to be a thousand year old but that's because of a magic spell and how they interact with it and as I said you got like I said Jonathan Frakes, Marina Sirtis and just so many others in this that are from Star Trek have been in it at some or been in it at some point. Brent Spiner plays a sort of trickster in it called um if I remember his correct name correctly, which I'm pretty sure I don't I think it was Puck. Puck, yeah. I can't see him on the screen. There he is. Puck. He was a lot of fun. I mean he's a great character actor, Brent Spiner. If you've ever seen him in anything other than Star Trek, you've only is actually a really, really good character actor. The whole thing is fantastic, it's fun, and I, for some reason, missed this entire show when I was younger. Missed it. And only really encountered it again as an adult, and I've recently rewatched it as it's currently free on Netflix. And, you know, it's 2020 right now, so most people are stuck at home like I have been. And if you're wanting something to rewatch, if you're wanting something to watch I would recommend this it's a it's a great nostalgia trip the animation is first class there's not so many much of the old reused images or backgrounds or things you often get in all those kinds of cartoons but then everything has a feeling of some real good production value behind it not to mention that the voice acting behind it is a fantastic mostly Star Trek the next generation cast but also again Tim Curry is Dr. Anton Savarius. And you don't get better than Tim Curry. That man is a legend in anything he's in. He's just... His voice... I mean, I get chills when I watch Ferngold the Last Rainforest. Hexus. Hmm. Great. So, I really recommend Gargoyles. It, I say it's free on Netflix now, including The Goliath Chronicles, which I know is not considered canon, which I'm not... I think that's because something to do with comic books. I believe the first episode is considered canon and everything after that is considered non-canon because I think the comic books carry on after episode one of season three but ignore the continuity of the cartoon, which I find a little strange, but I, I can see why because season three isn't as good as seasons one and two, but it doesn't matter. There's only like 13 episodes of season three and there's about 60 episodes of seasons one and two, possibly just 60 episodes of season two. It's really good worth a rewatch if you were if you're a 90s kid like me it's a nostalgia trip if you've forgotten it exists go back and rewatch it it's bloody good well okay to summarize gargoyles it's fantastic if you've not seen it i really recommend you go and watch it if you have seen it before it's locked down you got anything better to do go rewatch it I ain't really got anything else to say on that. This video is hitting six minutes and I didn't mean for it to do, so I'm going to go and go to bed because it's really late here now. Bye-bye.